What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? It's another episode of the Background Check. And tonight, we are going to be doing Pete Rock, CL Smooth's The Main Agreement. Woo! Yes, Lord. Good Lord. The Main I'm telling you right now, that CL Smooth helped me be the pimp that I am today. Oh, wow. Nah, not really. But lyrically, lyrically. I'm telling you right now, this man, that whole album, just all about the ladies. Like, he had a verse about a lady in every single joint, and that's why they call that man smooth. I'm talking about flips it, ridiculous. This guy, well, and you notice about CL Smooth's style is that he doesn't always rhyme like you, but he it comes out smooth, and I'm just like. You know, the name is him. I was like, oh, okay. I agree. I, I agree. Uh, CL Smooth definitely embodies what a what a smooth, comfortable MC, yeah. what, how, how he kind of comes off, you know what I mean? I remember being a young whippersnapper, a young dude, looking up to CL Smooth in particular, yeah. and uh, his rhyme patterns and his rhyme flow, it was, it was just amazing to he me. He made you know it look I mean? easy. Like, that was the thing that, that blew my mind. It was that you made it seem like anybody could do it. But you know good and well that the words and everything, the way you flip shit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Nobody was jacking with that. And, I mean, you know, obviously everyone knows the, the hip-hop classic Troy. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And, you know, that hit Which home. is not on this. Not on this album. On this album that we're reviewing. one of the things that we, uh, you know, that people know Pete Rock is CL Smooth for. Uh-huh. For people who are, who are just idiots, I don't know, who didn't pick up the main ingredient when it was dropped. I mean, mm-hmm. that was 94, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I slept on that shit in 1994. Uh, I was just... We was gonna tell, yeah, we was talking about it. <laughs> I was talking about it. I felt, listening to it now, I felt like a fucking idiot for sleeping on it there. Here's how it came out for me. When I, when I knew it had dropped, it was mm-hmm. like, uh, what, uh, the Take Me There. Yes. The video. And it was like, that's when, when I knew it dropped. And I was like, I got to go get this shit. Mm-hmm. And I mean, that was the craziest shit. That dude said, I stoked the hell out of Mademoiselle, who insisted every night she get her back twisted in the unlisted. Ooh. What? Yes. Don't fuck. Yes. Like, uh, like I was saying, though, CL, <laughs> CL is, is, he is a fucking the Van Gogh of, of hip hop, at least of lyricism. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because I actually liked his storytelling abilities, CL Smooth. You know what I'm saying? He he also did have that that spit kicking word flipping shit yeah. down pat. Yeah. But he also well, I mean, even though I hate to keep going back to this song because right, right. it's not on right. the album, exactly. but, but even Troy, where you know his 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 uh, storytelling is, is amazing. Yeah. I actually think that Carmel City, he actually does some really dope. Yes. On this album right here, he does some really dope storytelling about where he's from. You know, all, all the people that, that, that that's around the ladies, you know what I'm saying? Definitely the ladies, man. It's, you know, in school, man, when I was growing up, man, in the South, man, the, and it was going to come off wrong, but the light skinned dudes, man, yeah, yeah. have all the ladies. And it was, it was like, it was all, they already had all the dudes, all the ladies. Uh-huh. And then this dude come, curly hair, wrapping up some shit. I was like, Yo. God dang it, man. This is the type of and when I say I slept on the man. album, like I knew like the videos <laughs> and stuff like that, stuff. but yeah. I mean I didn't mean to take it there, but I mean back then, I mean that's you know, anybody who grew up with me in the South knew how that was. Man. Right. It's like, you know, right. pretty boy come around and then this cat right here, he just had the lyrics. It was no there's no denying, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And to have Pete Rock as the production. Yeah. The you beats just, are nasty. Yeah. This album came out right now. That's what I felt when I was listening to it. Right. Like, yeah, I agree with you. I, and uh, I think that we were talking about that before. I said, that it, let's say that this album, lyrics, sound, all of that, all, all in all, right. was some obscure cat from Minnesota, right? Yeah. Some producer and some rapper right. from Minnesota. These guys would fucking change the game right now. You know what I mean? I actually think that this album came out in 94. Mm-hmm. That the underground purist cats nowadays who are making music are trying to make this music. Right. They're trying to make the main ingredient. Right. You know, they're trying to make Mecca and the Soul Brother. Yes. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to make these records. Um, and so that that's that's tremendous for me because I actually feel like the, these albums that my man my man G Funk Gary here right. slept on, right? Right. 
are still prevalent and relevant today. They Very still hold. Much so, they man. still hold weight. And it's not like it's some obscure topic or, or subject matter that was cracking off back then that we just don't understand now. It's actually even more relevant now than it was then. You know what I'm saying? And man, and I didn't sleep on this album because I was sleeping on hip hop then. It was just because '94 was fuck ready to die. You know, uh, 36 Chambers it just came yeah, out. Some, I, Illmatic. You know, like so. So I was just listening to like the more. I don't, I don't want to say grimy, right. but that you know that's kind of what I was listening Onyx to back too. then. You know, and Onyx, Onyx. yeah, so Onyx yeah, right then. You're right. That and that's what I was telling you, explaining stuff. to you why I was mm-hmm. yeah, kind of yeah, slept yeah, on yeah. this. But then I explained my journey, you know, and then I went back to it. Right. But, you know, like, for this to come out in 94 and listening to it now, I felt like I, I've heard albums that right. are similar to this now. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know what yeah, I'm right, saying? Right, you're right. Like, and that's what I was getting at earlier. Like, it's definitely, it was, yeah. you know, like, I don't want to say it was ahead of its time because it fit really well where it's at, but I think right now there's a lot of cats that are trying to make that right. sound, mm-hmm. you know, that... Mm-hmm. Right, and it, yeah, it just came off. A resurgence. Mm-hmm. A resurgence yeah, a resurgence that, that was my favorite era. My yeah. favorite era of hip-hop. And he's you know, right, there was a lot of albums that came and out. And 94 was beautiful, man. And it was man. gritty New York hip-hop, and then you got this smooth, yes. you know, yeah. coming out. So it kind of could have uh, went under the radar in a sense. Only, not you know, only because of like you said, so many so that gritty, Timberland rockin'. Yeah, like almost oversaturated. Exactly. Well, remember when we we did the Chronic, and I said when the Chronic came out, it changed what I was listening to because right. yeah, I was listening to more of that. You right, know, right, like right. it wasn't I wasn't just listening to all West Coast. I was listening to East Coast too, but it yeah. was that you know more. I was 15 years old, man. I liked hearing you know the yeah. the grimy shit. That oh yeah. Uh, so tracks, man, like. Uh, you know, uh, the sun won't come out. Yes, uh, I actually, that's actually a highlight track on yeah. on this album for me. Is the sun won't come out, man. To boast that the Pete Rock and Seals movie go rock, the sun won't come out. Yep. And you hear the track, and you're like, these cats got the the words and lyrics to back that crap up. Oh you shit, know? yeah, man. <laughs> shit, yeah. Yep. It, it's a very relevant album, man. Like these guys weren't just coming out out of the pocket talking right. like this. I mean, they. Yeah. They helped shape yeah. hip hop, man, yeah. and they were doing yeah. that then, and they were aware of that. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like, holy right. shit, man! And maybe they weren't. Maybe they weren't. It sounded like they weren't. Yeah. You know what I mean? It sounded, it sounded like they were very aware of, of, of the, the the molding of hip hop as it is today. You know what I mean? Uh, these guys are are, are are gods to me as well. Um, yeah. These guys are. Well, uh, Pete Rock's one of the best beat makers. P. Rock is, is, you know, like, P. Rock is yeah, responsible like, for a specific sound that that's cracking off as well. Like you see beat makers when they when they post they gonna make a beat, yo, P. Rock sound. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. this, and you you know I see any, and if I hear, if I see a beat that says something like P. Rock, I gotta hear it, I gotta listen, I gotta oh, yeah. check it out, I gotta. If you're gonna boast and put your stuff on the same line as P. Rock. I got right. it. He's here and see right. you know, what's the deal. You know Big time, saying? man. Uh, he's he's an architect of of, of our culture. Which because is really, what is it? There's Pete Rock and Premier. You know, there's Pete Rock and Premier. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like and they hold it down for that for that hip hop uh, demographic. You know what I mean? Right. That, that's big time, man, and, and you can't front on that. I would also put Dilla in there too. I put Dilla, Pete Rock, and Premier all in the same kind of category. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um. Uh, if you haven't heard this album, Pete Rock and Seal Smooth's The Main Ingredient, you need to cop this record. Um, anybody who is an up and coming MC yeah. who, who are who just. Who claims from, that they even. Uh, who, yeah, who, are, who claim they are, they're even feeling hip hop a little bit. This album is essential to uh, be in your collection, your digital collection. Download it. At this point, I think, I'm sure you can download it anywhere for free. Yeah. Um, this album is amazing. But well, uh, we still want to get right. money to the artists. So. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Yes, always support the artists. <laughs> always support the artists. I'm just saying, it should be an easy yeah, record to get a hold of. Yeah, it should be an easy one to get a hold of. Yeah. I get physical. Yeah, I, I get physicals too. Yeah. Um, anything else you guys want to add on, add on this at all? <laughs> you crazy. Find the album. Find the album. Yeah, Go listen find it. to it. It should be in your crates if you really are a DJ. Uh, I actually I like would, this album better now. Than what I did as an adolescent. It holds up. I was sitting here smoking, listening, laying on the couch earlier, and I yelled out like, "The album holds up." Mm-hmm. You know, it definitely holds up. 
Yeah, it so, definitely does, my man. It definitely does. That's like I said, the background check. Yeah, yeah, that is the background check, isn't it, bro? Yes, it is. Cop the album, check it out. Yeah. Background check. Tony. Gary. Dion. Peace. Peace. Peace.